So phase two, after being stuck in Piney Point for four months for the program and then five weeks on idle, they finally found us a ship. Uh, me, Sam, Ben, and Jeff got dropped off downtown Baltimore um, for phase two. We'd be on the ship for supposed to be 90 days, one month in engine, one month in deck, one month in steward. We were going to be signing on to a cable ship, which was kind of a surprise. When you think of the Merchant Mariners, I always thought of container ships or oil tankers. I didn't even know cable ships existed. But turns out cable ships are pretty wild to say the least. They usually have extended port stays. And the crew can be anywhere from 60 to 70 people and the cabling process can take anywhere from 30 to 60 days at sea. It was definitely going to be interesting. Because we were apprentice and rooms were limited on the ship, we had a bunk together. It's not like we weren't used to it after doing it for five months, but Ben and Sam were together and Jeff and I were together. Because Jeff and I were sharing the room, they're gonna keep us together and keep Ben and Sam together. So Jeff and I started off in the deck department. Trying not to be too corny or sappy here, but after almost a year of doing nothing but daydreaming about being on a ship out at sea and finally experiencing it, it was, it was just as magical as you think it would be. It almost felt surreal. You know, when I first joined the program in phase one, my intention was to join the engine department. But working on deck and having your office view be the ocean, you feel the, the breeze hitting you in the face. It's, I can't explain it, but there's just something about working on deck. It took us just about two weeks to transit from Baltimore to Algeciras. Tying up the ship for the first time was intimidating to say the least. There were lines all over the place, people all over the place. Um, it was a lot to take in.
Once we were all fast, everyone was super eager to get off the ship and check out Algeciras. This was going to be our first foreign port. You know, I always considered myself, especially in my younger days, somewhat of a partier. Can hang with the best of them, or so I thought. But let me tell you, sailors, sailors know how to have a good time. Even to this day, I still talk about that night. But we'll keep this video PG. As fun as Algeciras was, Gibraltar was only a 20 minute cab ride from the ship. And boy, oh boy, let me tell you, Gibraltar, great place. Great place. What we, what we get, Ben? Long Island iced tea, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, you gotta flash the watch. <laughs> While on Algeciras, Jeff and I switched from the deck department over to the engine department. When I started the apprentice program, my intentions were to join the engine department. So I was pretty excited to check it out. And just cause why not, our first job in the engine room was fixing a clogged sewage pipe. The sewage pipe aside, it was pretty cool to see how everything worked in the engine room. There was so much going on and it was just really interesting. But on the other side of that coin, the noise, the heat, the lack of scenery, definitely wasn't a fan of those. We're coming. I guess because we were in port for so long, the ship let us take a day off, which was awesome because because we were apprentice, we weren't making much money anyway, so there was nothing to lose, and there was so much to see. Ben and Sam went over to Gibraltar to check out the uh, the monkeys on top of the rock, while Jeff and I took the ferry across the strait to check out Morocco. Once we got to Morocco, just by dumb luck, we found a local tour guide named Sharif. Sharif took us all around Tangier, through the markets, all the little nooks and crannies you wouldn't normally see. Sharif, if you're watching this, let me know and I can put your number on here so people can find you. At the end of the tour, he brought us to a Moroccan rug place. And wouldn't you know it, now we both own Moroccan rugs. After two amazing weeks in Algeciras, we left. While sailing as an apprentice, just because we weren't in school, didn't mean we didn't have schoolwork to do. Every apprentice is required to complete a sea project. The sea project is essentially a workbook for the ship. You have to fill out things like layouts of the engine room and mooring operations and responsibilities of the steward and first engineer, etc., etc., etc. It was a lot of material, but there was four of us, so it wasn't that bad. Anyway, the next stop was Greece. We were just going to stop at Crete for only one night.
Because we were only going to be in port for one day, there was a ton of work to get done. Being in the engine department, I think our primary concern was taking on fresh water. But after a long day, wouldn't you know it, we were able to sneak out, grab some beers, and of course some pizza. Cheese pizza, to be exact. This is Creek Salami. Even though we were here for only a night, we really had to take it in. Because from here, we head to the cable grounds. From what we heard, laying the cable could take anywhere from 30 to 45 days. And it was such a big undertaking that they brought me back into the deck department, at least for the cable job. <laughs> Towards the end of the cable operation, they moved me out of the deck department and into the stewards department. It was the last department I needed to complete all three departments. After phase one at Piney Point, I was a little nervous to go back into a galley. But, to be honest with you, it wasn't that bad. It was pretty chill, actually. We had a really good crew. Everyone worked well together. There was something relaxing about prepping food, chopping produce, just doing dishes. Get it. Not to mention, everyone always had fun in the steward department. After 60 days at sea, we were finally pulling into a port. We arrived at Catania early in the morning, a quote unquote ancient port city located on the eastern side of Sicily. To be honest, after two months of being underway, it didn't matter where we went. Everyone was just happy to be stepping on dry land. 
especially me and the boys. We were stoked. One, because we get to see a new place, check out Italy, but also, we'd be finally going home. <laughs> and to top off a great trip, a bunch of the crew got together and we had a big old meal. It was actually really, really nice. What do we have, you say? Pizza, of course. Cheese pizza. Amongst others. There it is. It's a video, Doug. Our sailor training wouldn't be complete if we didn't try to squeeze in one more night of debauchery. Just a couple laughs. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> to be honest, sometimes I felt like this day was never going to come. But after five months in Piney Point for phase one, three months on the ship for phase two, probably the craziest eight months of my life. We were finally going home. You know, at first I took this trip for granted, but looking back, this is one of the best voyages I've ever been on. <laughs>